Do you remember the last time you made a dream come true? Last week, I made one of mine happen. I built my first synthesizer. My first contact with synthesizers was about 15 years ago. I was searching for music apps on Apple Store and I found apps like that one. And that one. These apps were small, sometimes under 10 megabytes, but could create a wide range of sounds. So basically, those apps are synthesizers, they generate sound electronically. Here is another example of synthesizers in action. In the earliest video game, CPU power and memory were extremely limited, leaving no space for large audio files. To create music and sound effects, these systems generate them in real time using simple built-in synthesizers. But I didn't just want to build a software. I mean, not just a virtual instrument. I wanted a physical object, something I could carry around with me. The goal was to build a standalone synthesizer, not rely on computer or external keyboards. Now that you understand what a synthesizer is, it's time to get started and build the first prototype. For this prototype, here is what I used. An S32, a deck, a protoboard, a few buttons, wires, and some C++ code. Here's a clip from the video that I share with some friends. That was my first prototype. Not bad, right? With this setup, I was able to play a short and a few arpeggios. By the way, this prototype is open source, and you can find it on GitHub. There, you find the complete list of components that I used, a link to buy the components on AliExpress, the C++ source code. I will put the link in the description. The second step was to design and prototype the final project. I'm a big fan of two products, the High Shorts and the KO Sampler. And I want to create a synthesizer inspired by the best features of both. To do this, I brainstormed several ideas and I used artificial intelligence to explore concepts. I also considered 3D printing some parts, but I really enjoy work with wood. So the plan was to use wooden case for the synthesizer. This is the general idea of what I imagined for the synthesizer. A matrix keyboard, a joystick, and a small screen. So, let's start with the wooden case. Let's make some holes. And my fiancé painted it for me. Directly inspired by the 90s styles. And now it's time to bring everything together. That's it, it's done, time to test it.